What's up guys, Shade Tree Surgeon back again with a video I've actually been meaning to make for a while now. You know, I get a fair number of people every video asking me how I have my mic set up and how I have my GoPro set up on my helmet. And while I certainly don't think I have the best audio out there by any means, it's a damn sight better than what most people are working with. But more importantly, my setup is incredibly simple and dirt fucking cheap. And since my lovely girlfriend Triumph Chick fucking finally agreed to get a new helmet and my foot is still very much broken, it's kind of the perfect time to show you guys how I do things on the Shade Tree Surgeon channel. At least when my foot isn't broken. And if you're looking to get any of this stuff for yourself, links to absolutely everything I show here will be in the description. First things first, let's start with the helmet. This is Triumph Chick's new Scorpion XOGT 3000. Here in the Shade Tree Surgeon household, we're all modular converts, and previously I hadn't really been that big of a fan of Scorpion's modular helmets, but with this new XOGT 3000, they've actually done a really good job in making a way better helmet that's way slicker and a lot lighter than their previous models. And of course, next, we'll need a camera. The camera I use the most on this channel is my Hero 4 Black Edition, although I sometimes do prefer my Hero 3 Plus Black Edition just because it has a longer battery life. I mainly use my Hero 3 White if somebody else wants to wear a camera or for a secondary angle. If I was to buy another camera, I don't think that the extra price on the Hero 4 Black is really worth it. I think a Hero 4 Silver will do just fine. Uh, and if it was me, I'd just turn off that LCD display in the back so I didn't kill the battery. But if you can find a Hero 3 Plus Black still floating around, go ahead and buy it. Uh, unfortunately, GoPro discontinued them. And the reason I really recommend either a Hero 4 Silver or a Hero 3 Plus Black if you can find it is that the Hero 3 Silver doesn't offer Super View. And for a lot of people that might not be that big of a deal, but if you're going to moto vlog, I really think that Super View is the only way to roll. You can see here the difference between Super View and the widest angle available on my oldest Hero 3. In my opinion, definitely worth the extra money to step up to the Hero 4 Silver over the Hero 3 Silver. And it also makes sense why GoPro discontinued the Hero 3 Plus Black, because it basically did everything that the Hero 4 Silver does. Next, of course, we need a way to mount the GoPro to the helmet. On our road bikes, I mount the GoPro on the chin, and I use a frame housing. Since we've got the GoPro mounted on the chin, I always go with the frame housing just because I find the regular housing to be a little bit too bulky. It ends up kind of weighing down the end of your helmet and get annoying after a while. With the frame, it feels like there's nothing there at all. Some people may worry about their lens getting scratched or their GoPro getting damaged when it's in the frame mount, and to that I say, just fucking live a little, okay? You can buy GoPro's frame mount for about 50 fucking dollars for a piece of stupid ass plastic, or you can get the one that I did that costs about 13 bucks. GoPro's frame mount is definitely slicker, but for $13, I've had this little piece of plastic for two years and I've never had a failure or a single problem with it. When I'm using my off-road helmet, I do use the full housing, but we're around a lot more rocks and dirt and mud and stuff like that. And besides that, I also use a side mount when I'm running my off-road rig, so there's not as much weight to worry about hanging off the front of my helmet, and you don't really notice it on the side. I use a side mount on my off-road rig because your helmet bounces around a lot more, and the peak from the visor actually provides a stable point, so it makes the whole video seem less shaky. And you don't get interference from the helmet being in the shot that much because there's no face shield. And of course you can buy GoPro's full housing for, again, 50 fucking dollars. 
or you can buy the one that I did for 17 bucks. Now don't expect the one for $17 to be quite as tough as GoPros, but it stood up to everything I've thrown at it. The only thing that I wouldn't do with this one is take it underwater. When it comes to trusting it to actually be waterproof with your $400 camera, I'd go ahead and spring the extra cash for a GoPro branded housing. And of course, the sticky mounts and other arms and thumb screws that are necessary to mount it on the helmet. Once again, you can buy these sticky mounts and this other stuff from GoPro. A pack of six sticky mounts cost $20. Or you can do what I did and buy one of those combination packs on Amazon that if you were to buy all that stuff from GoPro would probably cost you hundreds of dollars. The one I have linked in the description has the specific arm that I use for literally every single mount on every single helmet I have. It also comes with six sticky mounts and a variety of other stuff, some of it useful, some of it not. But for $16, just the sticky mounts and the arm that I use to mount it make it totally worth it. And I'd also like to point out that GoPro sticky mounts are essentially infinitely reusable. If you have one in a place that you don't use it anymore, just peel that fucker off, strip the 3M tape off of it, and get some of that 3M double-sided tape and cut yourself out a new piece so you can reuse it again. It's just a piece of plastic. There's no reason you can't put tape on it again and use it somewhere else. And it's way, way cheaper than having to buy these mounts over and over again. Next, we'll need a GoPro microphone adapter, a small microphone, and some Velcro to mount it on the inside of your helmet. Now, even though it kills me to say this because it's still horrendously overpriced, I really recommend going with the actual GoPro brand microphone adapter. These microphone adapters are really sensitive and the Chinese knockoffs don't hold up to the GoPro one. It's $20 for a stupid little piece of plastic and wire, but if you're gonna do it, I really, really recommend going with the GoPro branded one. The microphones that I use are just super cheap computer mics with a short, flexible neck on them. You know what? A lot of people spend a lot of money on microphones, but for $5, these stupid little mics really do the job pretty well. It's the mic I use off-road. It's the mic I use on-road. It's the mic I use in my voiceovers. Are they the best mic you can buy? Absolutely not. But for $5, it's totally worth it. And I specifically use this mic with a gooseneck because I hate, hate having extra wire in my helmet. I don't like taking off the cheek pads to put wire in there. I don't like wires hanging loose. I want as short an amount of wire as possible, which is what you can do with these gooseneck mics, and I'll show you how when we mount everything up. And of course, this Velcro is pretty cheap, about five bucks on Amazon. I use it because I wanna leave a permanent mounting solution in my helmet that doesn't bother me, but I don't always wear a GoPro. So this stuff makes it really easy to take my GoPro rig on or off my helmet because sometimes I just like to ride around without it and I don't want any extra wires or microphones or anything like that hanging around when I'm not specifically recording things. Now let's go ahead and get this GoPro mounted to Triumph Chick's helmet. How I usually like to start is a GoPro already in whatever housing I'm gonna be using and already attached to whatever arms I'm gonna be using with the sticky mount already attached to it. From here, I can kind of mock it up on the helmet and find out exactly where I'm gonna put it before I actually commit and stick it on. One thing I really like to do when I'm figuring this out is put the helmet on its back so you can get a top-down view of the GoPro and make sure you're gonna have a straight-ahead angle. Now, while we are doing a chin mount, this big old air vent here really prevents us from mounting it directly on the chin. If you have a helmet that allows for a chin mount, this whole process is a hell of a lot easier. But we don't. And I'm certainly not going to limit our helmet choices by whether or not they can accept a direct chin mount from a GoPro. Now that we've got all that done, we can go ahead and put that sticky mount on the helmet. Just remember to take your GoPro stuff off of it because the extra weight on there won't allow it to stick properly easy enough and we can also still use our visor without it hitting the GoPro and our chin vent. 
Next, let's go ahead and mount up the microphone and adapter. I like to run the microphone adapter behind the GoPro and then back up into the helmet because it just adds an extra little bit of tension on it so it doesn't fall out as easily. From there, we can stick our microphone inside the helmet and push it against the chin bar. That way we know where on the chin bar to place the Velcro to hold it in place when we're using it. Now that we know where we're going to put the microphone, we can go ahead and stick the Velcro on. Make sure not to cover any of the holes for your chin vent. Obviously you don't need this much Velcro, but it doesn't interfere with Jessica's face at all, and I like to have options on where I can mount the microphone instead of just in one little tiny spot. From here, it's as easy as sticking your microphone in and putting the Velcro back on top of it. And there you have it. That's how Shade Tree Surgeon does his chin-mounted GoPro. It's light, it's easy to take on and off, you don't lose any of the functions of the helmet, and most importantly with the modular, you can still flip the chin bar up and down without taking the GoPro off or having any wires hanging from your helmet at all. And besides the initial investment for the GoPro itself, you can have this exact same setup for under $50. Not a bad deal when you consider that a lot of people spend over $50 just on a microphone. Here's the exact same setup on my Dirt Helmet, a Fox V1. Except you'll see I have it on the side like I mentioned earlier. The basic principles remain the same except I can feed the microphone through the eye port of the helmet since there's no visor preventing me from doing so. On this one I don't even use Velcro at all, I just wedge the flex mic into the cheek pad and let it hang in front of my mouth. Again, I've used this setup numerous times and I've never had a single problem with it. When you're running a dirt setup and you're going to have a side mount, I think it's really important to have it on the right side of the helmet because the GoPro microphone adapter comes out of the left side of the GoPro. And this is not something you want sticking off your helmet because a branch will grab it really easily. So there you have it, that's Shade Tree Surgeon's GoPro setup. Again, you can find every link to every single one of these things that I've featured here in the description. And please use those links. Those are my Amazon affiliate links and I do receive a small percentage of every sale made on there. So if you wanna help out the channel and you're gonna buy some of this stuff anyway, just do it through those links. I'd really appreciate it. You guys fucking rock. Thanks for all the support you guys show me, especially right now with my broken foot. Um, I'm hoping to be back as soon as possible, but for now, let's get this helmet on Jessica and have her do a quick test and see how the new Moto Vlogging rig works out. Is the mic actually in here? Wonder if there's gonna be wind noise. Cause I can actually feel the wind coming in on my chin. I don't know if the mic position is very good for this. I feel like it's like just against my cheek. Cause you know, if you don't, if you're not really sure about a style, then you should fuck it. And, you know, try on the cheap one just to see. See if you like it. Don't spend the fucking money immediately and be like, no, unless you have the money. You know, that's cool. Good for you. Oh shit. Let's get gas. That'd be smart. Sorry. Shine, shine, lollipop, what the fuck are you doing? I mean, you're awesome. He doesn't care.